What's up, y'all? This is Hammer here again, back with another video. And today, I'm going to be talking about Jonathan Majors and how it seems like he just got his wake-up call. It looks like Jonathan Majors just got his black wake-up call. Now, for those who don't know, um, I already talked about the Jonathan Majors situation, and I say she broke it down like in detail in regards to how his entire fall essentially had to do with race, right? Um, I'm going to put that the link to that video in the description. So if y'all want to check that out, you can go ahead and check that out. Um, it's called, you no know, The Black Man's Weakness, so you can check it out. And I think that that will give you context for this video. So it's more of a continuation of that. Because I made that video after he, he was he was found convict, guilty. When he was convicted, found guilty of two of the charges. The other two were dropped. Um, it looks like Jonathan Major has come out. And he has now made um, a recent interview. I believe it was, I believe it's with the ABC. And of course, you know, in the interview, I mean, the guy, he's but he's crying. But the, the, the brother's got tears in his eyes. And there were many notable aspects. One aspect was how he, he pointed out how, you know, when you look at the footage of him being chased by the white girl, he's like, you know, if, if, if I was chasing the white girl, I'd be gunned down. Like, yeah. If, if if you were the one chasing the white girl down the street, they would have gunned you now. But here's the issue, Jonathan. And, you know, when I made that almost 40-minute 40, 40 breakdown, all right, uh, of the situation, I knew what's happening to you. I, I was just, the thing, I, the only thing that I was unsure about was whether... Okay, is it that Jonathan is just oblivious to Ray's, or is it that he's in denial? But I'm happy you made this interview because you essentially, in my opinion, proved what I suspected, which is that you are out here being colorblind. That's what that. If you look at that interview, that's essentially what you confirmed to, right? I I said, listen, look, the only way that you could have risen to the heights you rose and still ended up how you ended up is if you actually believe that Hollywood was colorblind, we were in a post-racial America, and that you, know, you could go out here and not have to worry about race. But that's the only reason how, as a, as a black dude, you thought you were going to go out here with a white female in front of all these white folks, and they were not going to, 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 to try to look for something to come, come at you at. Okay? And what's so crazy about this is that I already talked about before how a lot of the white male fan base, of course, it's it shown double standard. Right? This, is, this, this also another reason why I believe that the black manosphere doesn't align with the white manosphere, or how we don't align with. We, 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 we typically, uh, men of color, right? I guess non-white men, we tend to be very suspicious when it comes to align with white males when it comes to male issues, and the reason is because we know that one, just like white women, they will throw you know us under the bus in order to to solidify whiteness, but also all. All it takes is for them to see a white female with, with a non-white dude and they lose their mind. If you look at the comment section, even when it came to this, to, to this interview, there are so many white dudes who are like, burn the coal, pay the toll. Burn the coal, pay the toll. I'm like, there was this white dude in the comments who literally said, well, you know, um, he's just a big black brother. Act like, yo, when I made that video, right, back then, Right, people that I was exactly I said, yo, they're literally saying this in comments. They're calling him a black, a back brute, a, a savage. Right, they're calling her a damsel of stress. And every single one of these comments essentially comes down to she shouldn't have been dealing with, with that black nigger anyway. Now she's gonna get a, a punished too because we already know that when it comes to white females, when when, when they come back, go back to their community, white men would essentially kind of you know uh, um treat them a certain kind of way, especially when they find out that, that, that they've been with, with a black dude. So it's going to be really hard for her to go back. But the whole idea is that it was quite interesting to see how the same white male fans that were just talking about, you know, uh, um, the same white male fans that were against Me Too, that were defending Johnny Depp, that were talking about feminism, they were all, you know, uh, you know, we men are being falsely accused. They were saying all these things. But the moment it ended up being a black dude and a white female, they instantly set up with a white girl, and they're talking about believe all women. And yet they wonder why 
you know, you know, non-white men don't trust them for the most part. And even while within the manners of space, we set non-white men separate from white dudes or don't really int- because we know how you guys are, right? I I personally believe that you know the only difference between I think black men and black women when it comes to 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 to, to, to gender, um, I mean, to, to that black women have actually bought into this idea that. You know, when white females, you know, try to unify with them based on being female, like they actually believe that's what's going on. Right. And yet they get surprised, just like just like Claudine Gay, when, you know, white women would essentially throw over the bus when it comes to whiteness. Right. So 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 it's easy for for white females to kind of bring black women in and say, oh, yeah, it's about sexual, it's about, you know, female empowerment. Right. And then, you know. When white women get everything they want, they throw them to the side and they go back to being raised first. See, at least when it comes to black men, look, we have a lot of issues. One thing I, I, is that black men don't fall for that. Even when it came to the men's systems, right, we were always aware of how these white dudes really operate. That, you know, all this thing about unifying based on gender was not a, a real thing. That when a push came to shove, they were going to unify based on whiteness and throw the bus. That's all like, yeah, we'll work with you on this, you know, manager stuff in terms of black male, in terms of the manager, but like, we watching our back, okay? But the whole point is that all this really shows is that when these white male fans and white who want to talk about, you know, anti-Me Too, anti-Feminism, right, they're really talking about white men, right? But the moment in which they see a black dude, especially with, with, with a white female, all of a sudden... They go. They become ultra feminine. They they, they become believe all. They 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 become believe all women, right? But at the end of the day, dude, they don't want you. They don't want black men fucking women like that, right? But here's the thing. What gets me angry about Jonathan Major's interview is how he represents, in my opinion, the reason why I go so hard at black men when it comes to social day. Let me just say this really quickly, okay? Overall, interracial dating has an immense amount of challenges and risks. And that's across the board, right? You know, when it, anyone who decides to go outside of their group to date is going to face more, more challenges and more risks. Right? I'll give you an example. Even a white dude, if he decides to go and, 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 and date an Asian female, a Asian female, right? Number one, he's going to have to deal about him being accepted in that Asian family or that Asian group. They may be more willing to accept him compared to a black man, but he's still going to have to really fight for that acceptance, right? To really be part of that group. Number two, there's going to be cultural clashes, right? She's going to have an Asian culture. You're going to have the, your, your sort of white American culture, your white culture, right? But on top of that, you guys are going to have conflicting allegiances, right? She may be dealing with you as, as an Asian female, but once again, her allegiance is still to her group, so she's going to prioritize the issues pertaining to her group, her Asian group. And when it comes to you, your allegiance as a white man is to the white group, so you're going to prioritize things, things pertaining to the white group, right? All of that will, will, will play will play in the relationship. Then on top of that, if you do have biracial kids, the kid's going to have to worry about which side to pick. Right? Then on top of that, the communities you come from are not going to really accept that. So, for example, a white dude already knows that a white community is not going to accept his Asian wife or, or, or his half Asian kids. And the Asian woman already know that, know that the Asian community is going to go at her heart for being with that white dude and they may not, not accept that, that half, you know, um, white kid. So, what I'm saying is that interracial dating, like interracial, it's already difficult. It's, it's, it's a, it already has so many challenges and risks when it comes to non-black people already. And so it's crazy that for, for, for black people to, to, to do this because not only are you going to face the same challenges and risks when it comes to interracial dating and marriage, on top of that, you're going to have to deal with the fact that you are also at the bottom of the hierarchy. So it's actually worse for you. You're going to face the typical challenges and the risks associated with kind of dating outside of your group. And you're going to deal with the fact that you are a black person in the West and on the global stage, which is viewed as being at the bottom of the hierarchy. So John the Majors, the fact that you were sh- I mean, he said this during an interview, right? The fact that you were shocked and surprised that they found you convicted is crazy to me. What did you think was going to happen? Did you really believe that you were going to walk that did you really believe that you were going to walk into court have a white woman crying and they were going to like acquit you like they acquitted you on two but you knew like you must have known that you they were going to get you on something 
the the idea that you thought the idea that you thought that race wasn't even gonna play a role is crazy to me. But this is what I'm talking about. Not only are black people gonna face the same issues in regards to intro dating, they're also gonna face the added so, 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 sort of layer of them being black and being at the bottom of the hierarchy, which makes it even more complex, makes it even worse. Right? And the reason why I focus on black men, because look, black women do the, the whole dating out thing, but whole thing, once again, the number of black women that date out is, is very rare. And the ones that do, you know, also face the same challenges and also get the same wake up call. But I see how there's more and more black men who are doing it. And, and the crazy part is that that's the reason we hyper focus on black men, because once again, you like, look, black men cannot, on one hand, essentially, Admit that hey, you know, you guys are more successful. We're, we're more successful at dating out, but then complain with folks on you. The reason we focus on black men because you guys tend to do we we tend to do it more on average compared to black women, right? It's not even close. So, black women, the black women who do that face those are all you know um, 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 racial wake up calls, right? But when it comes to black men, despite all the racial wake up calls, they still do it in these crazy numbers. And so my whole thing when it comes down to is that little brother. The fact that you thought you were gonna go out here, go outside of your community, and 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 and, and there were not gonna be any consequences, it's crazy to me. Like you really believed that you were go, going to go to that trial, and 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 and, and, they, and they were not gonna find you um, guilty. I said in my original investment, look, all they're gonna have to do is say, hey, that's a big black dude, and that's a white girl. That's it. And they're gonna, I say, that alone will be enough for them to find you guilty on at least one thing. And that's what happened. Right? And of course, you know, he, he I, I, and the fact that you're in this interview shocked that you were convicted um, 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 because of your relationship with a white girl. Like, do you know America's history? Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I hyper focus on black men because I just, I, I, it's like, just like the previous video I made, right? Black men don't actually hate white supremacy, right? They just hate white men, right? But they love white women. And, and, and it's to a point in which they will purposely become bl colorblind just to justify situation. They will purposely, you know, erase the history just to justify being with that girl. Like, like, like why are you in a relationship asking the white girl to be like Coretta Scott King? Like, like, that's what I'm talking about. But 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 the audacity, the audacity, Jonathan, for you to be shocked that a white girl accusing you of something will end up in you being guilty. That's crazy to me. It's crazy you, you will be shocked about that. It's crazy you're shocked about that, right? And of course, around the interview, you know, um, 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 he, he, he talks about how he hopes, you know, he essentially talks about how, you know, it, it breaks his heart that, you know, he worked so hard and he lost it. I said, yeah, br brother, like, yeah, that was, look, look, I, guys, I already went into a deep dive in the previous video. I, I'm just kind of giving, uh, you, know, a, 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 you know, a summary, but like, dude, these young white boys, they, they never wanted to see a black dude be the face of Marvel. They never wanted that already. So you already dealing with that. They don't talk about you as white, white girl. I'm like, dude, you know, like, yeah, you're, you're literally provoking a response. You're rising through the ranks, and you got this beautiful, this white girl walking on the red carpet. I'm like, wait, what's going to happen? Yeah, they wanted you out of that. Like, a lot of these white dudes, like, wanted you done. Like, they, they did not like the image of a big, black, dark-skinned black dude being the face of Hollywood being the successful where a white girl is all, oh, yeah, oh yeah, hell no. And so yeah, the moment they found something, they got you out of there. And that's also the reason why, you know, when Jonathan Majors talks about how he wished to go to Hollywood, brother, you're not going back into Hollywood. Let me make something very clear to you, Jonathan, okay? It's over. It's over, okay? You, you you need to hope that that when they you need to hope that when they sentence you for the two charges that the most you get is maybe community service and maybe a month in jail, but after that you're not going back. Like, they're not going to allow you to go back to the heights you were. Okay, now if you were a white dude, maybe you could make a comeback like um who who's that guy Robert Downey Jr. Maybe you can be a comic like him, right? But here's the problem. You're not white. You're not a white male. If you were a white male, right, you would at least have white men in Hollywood that would try to at least, that will sympathize with you and maybe try to help you out. That's not going to happen this time. 
Like like Johnny Depp, right? Look at all the white boys that will sympathize a thousand with Johnny Depp. You're not going to have that. So what's going to happen is once you kind of get your sentencing and that's, that's all over with, they're going to keep blackballing you. They're not going to allow you to go back into Hollywood. And, and if you are able to get some role, it's going to be some very low role. That's going to be about it. But you're not you're not coming back. It's over for you. So the fact that Jonathan is crying, and I, I feel like it's finally hit. I, I, I believe that he got a wake-up call. I think that the wider situation, Jonathan Major was still in shock. But I feel like now, you know, it's really starting to hit him that, yo, you got legally lynched. And not just that, because you're a black dude, it's essentially over for you. That's just like, like, he's finally coming to that realization that, yo, you're not making it back. That's it. The best you can do in the future, maybe some, some side rolls here, but that's about it. You're done. And anytime someone tries to hire you, all they're going to have to do is, 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 is bring up the white girl. Oh, this Jonathan Majors is still facing uh, the cloud of, 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 of the conviction of how you put hands on a white female. It's over, bro. It's over. So, and But I feel like that's, and brother, you know, although I sympathize with you, I generally don't care anymore. Because here is going to be my new model moving forward. When it comes to black folks, black men and black women, you are free to date out at your own risks. That's kind of my new model. If you want to go out here and deal with the challenges and the risks that come with interracial dating, go ahead and do that. If you want to deal with all the risks involved with you being black and these non-black people, go ahead and do that. All you need to understand is that when you get your wake-up call, we're not going to come and help you. Jonathan, like, brother, I don't care anymore. It is, what, it is what it is, because here's the issue. Like, I, I can promise you that, I pro, I can almost promise you that black men like Jonathan Majors were told beforehand, don't mess with the white girls. They were told beforehand, watch your back. They were told beforehand, don't trust white people, but they won't listen. They they, they thought they, they were going to be a, they were gonna be a su 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 super nigga in Hollywood. Y'all, y'all need to get over race. Y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop dick policing black. But y'all, okay, fine. And and, and and you need to carry this burden of of you getting your racial wake up call by yourself. So, you know, I wasn't expecting to make a video tonight, but I, I just I had to respond to this because, like, you know, I made that video about Jonathan Mann. It's like he he came back and was and, and made a, a, a following interview. I was like, look, brother. I'm happy that, that that you've come to tears. You're starting to realize the gravity situation, but so now I, I, we can't help you no more, right? I mean, you can get maybe some roles in Black Hollywood, but even then, they may pressure them to, to pressure them on that too. That's the reason why we tell Black people beforehand to wash their back because we know that we can only help you before they catch you, before you're caught up. After you fall into their trap, we can't help you anymore. It is what it is. But that being said, y'all, y'all, y'all tell me in the chat what you guys think about the video. Uh, but but yeah, Jonathan, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. I mean, you you got your 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 black wake up call, but but at the end of it's over. And I hope this is a lesson for black folks, especially especially black um black men who love the snow bunnies, um, or, 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 or who love the, you know going out here and swirling with, with swirling with non-black females, right? You know, black women face it too, but but you know, once again, we know the numbers are not the same. It's more problem problem with black men, and even the black women who do go out there, you know, they, they get the wake up call too. So let us be a reminder for black folks: if you step out of your group, whatever happens to you after you step out of the group is your fault. It is what it is. With that being said, y'all, tell me what you guys think in the chat. Do you just agree, disagree? Like, subscribe, hammer out.